There's a lovely tool in AutoCAD when you're working with attributes that allows you to manage the attributes of the existing blocks in the drawing. If I go to the Insert tab on the ribbon, it's on the Block Definition panel and it's here, Manage Attributes. So if I click on that now, what will happen is it will bring up a small dialog box that allows me to edit the actual attributes for the block definition in the drawing. So you can see there, we've got the block chair. That's the only block in the drawing. So that's the only one that we can edit. So there's our tags, cost, manufacturer, there's our prompts, and there's our default values. Now you'll notice there's no way of adding a new attribute. You can't do that. You can only edit existing or remove existing attributes. If I go to settings, I can set things like prompt, default, modes, justification, color, line type, line weight, but I can't add an attribute. I have to go back to define attributes to do that. So I'll just OK that there. So if I'm going to edit this, let's just bring this up here, like so, so it's in the center of the screen. I select a tag and I hit edit. That will bring up the edit attribute dialog box and there's the tag and I can edit the mode. I can make it invisible if I want to, as if I was creating a new attribute tag. So what you'll notice there is I can go in and edit the information. So we've got the prompt and we've got the default there. So if I select that default there, it's 100 at the moment. I'm going to change that now to 75 pounds. Because I'm English, I like English pounds. There we go. I can auto preview the changes if I want to. If I OK that now, you'll see that update back into the block attribute manager. Manufacturer. So let's change that as well. Let's go to manufacturer now. Let's edit that as well. I'm going to change that to IKEA, like so. And I'll click on OK there. Now those have updated in the block attribute manager. Now what I could do is I could sync that or I could select a block that I maybe want to edit instead. I'm not going to, I'm going to apply those changes like so. Move that over here and I'll click on OK. Now it doesn't edit these changes I've made to existing blocks. What you've edited is the block reference. So if I just pan those down a bit, let's just pan across, there we go. Leave me a little bit of room over here to insert a block. So I'll go to the Home tab on the ribbon. Check my Layers Furniture. It is. Go to Insert here. And I want to bring in a new chair. Specify on screen is ticked. Scale and Rotation I'll leave as is and I'll click on OK. Notice the new chair now has IKEA and £75 on it. Because I've updated the block reference. I've updated the attributes on the block reference only not the existing blocks that I've already brought into the drawing. So I can drop that there, click there. Obviously, because I set at dear back to one, the dialog box is on so I can edit the information. Click on OK, and there's my block. So that's how you can manage your block attributes on your block references in AutoCAD.